Enable notifications by ringing the bell. Rockstar Games. Make some pretty good games. I mean, they've done uh, the Grand Theft Auto franchise. They've done Bully. They did the uh, uh, video game version of The Warriors, which I think is a very underrated game. And they also did Red Dead Redemption, which we are getting a sequel to, which it's kind of weird. Because uh, there was Red Dead Revolver, and then there was Red Dead Redemption, and now they're calling the next one Red Dead Redemption 2. Why have I, I feel like I've heard you say that before. Because I probably Did we have. Did you do the trailer for that or something? Yes, we okay. have. Okay. So, I will say this. They can call it whatever the hell they want. I mean, they're the ones making the game. But to me, it's just like a little bit of just like, eh, maybe you should have called it like Red Dead Revenge. or yeah. Red, like Because Red Dead Revenge, I think, works so well. Especially if you're trying to tell, like, I, I don't know if the story involves revenge or anything like that. Um, but actually, me and the chat one time and like when we were playing Fortnite one night... Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we were just like going it's like red dead renegades and i'm like no no how about uh red dead revolution i'm like okay that could work i mean if this were set during like the revolutionary war of course i don't think there were cowboys around back then just because they hadn't sailed the west yet no the cowboys are playing dance dance revolution nate Gross. Yeah, instead it's instead it's just line dancing. <laughs> instead it's just line. Just Their dance dance revolution is five arrows in a line. They're all <laughs> pointing the same way. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny as hell. You, you joke. Someone's going to make that game. <laughs> line dance well, revolution. Okay. Then make it three and the arrows go different ways. That'll make it a little more interesting. Yeah, make it they have to like actually actually, you know what they could do? They could do the three rows but have it like three full rows and have it be like one, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, step back, back, I, one, two. Three. I guarantee you there's line dancing in like was that just dance that like has the mo- the motion tracking? Oh, I think so too. I yeah. guarantee it. Surely. It's already yeah. a thing. Connect ver- the connect version is just like they just have, some shitty line dancing. They just have skins for the like, characters from Red like all, and they do like a crappy country song like a wannabe country song like uh Kesha's uh, Timber. It's going down. I'm yelling Timber. It's like Kesha. Or, uh, is that, that is that supposed one? to be taken as country? That's what everyone says. It's just like, oh, it's it's like it's like uh it's like a big beat country and I'm like, no it's not. It's Pitbull trying to do country Don't and it put sucks. That song in there that's like what is that one I hate it cuz it plays so much. Rock me. Oh, uh friggin' uh Wagon Wheel. Yeah. Rock me mama like a southbound train. Yeah. Oof. Hey mama rock me. Yeah, cuz that's a common thing around here because we one line lot. One line in the entire damn song, everybody knows. <laughs> Johnson City, Tennessee. And we live 30 minutes from there. Hooray! Good God. Okay. But we also live an hour from the Evil Dead cabin, so that's kind of cool. That is cool. That is very, <laughs> very cool. Half, probably. Yeah. And there's also the sense of Autel that's not too far away as well. I've been there a lot. <laughs> I've actually been there four or five times. There you go. <laughs> I know where that is. So you is. could be our residential expert. I've actually, uh, see, I can take you to both of them, depending on which one you believe is the right one. Eh, we'll see. Well, I, I mean, I'd like to do a road venture where we go to, like, the Sensebot Tunnel and the... Uh, uh, we'll have to go talk to the people around there, because they will shoot warning shots. No, I know. They get I, real sick of kids. No, 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 I, I get it. And, and we'll tell them, hey, we're just going to film a few things. We won't include your houses. We won't show anything mm-hmm. about this or that. We're not going to show them where the we're entrance not, is. No, we're not. We're just going to do our thing. And, and I uh, won't walk through the other side, just letting you know ahead of time. Wait, so is it like, is it like on private property? It's, okay, so there's a road, there's a stump right here, then the tunnel is right here, and there's houses over this way. Okay. Kind of like off a little bit, but a little on you, the they mound, can I guess. see that there are people out and probably hear them if you're yelling and stuff, because you know it's out in like the hills and stuff. So they're just going to shoot at people randomly for being they over there? They shoot warning shots. Um, they've done it once to me, <laughs> and damn, crazy. If people. you go a little further and kind of go around a little bit, there's the drive-through one that people say you'll turn your car off. And there's, um, it holds water really well. Mm-hmm. Like when it rains, you basically can't drive through it. So you go in there, you turn your car off, you look in your rearview mirror, and you'll see like whichever story you believe, the hobo or the mother and the baby or whatever, because there's nothing concrete about these these tunnels. No, and I- 
that's just like the the one the wildcat holler like way up in uh that they it, they originally called it the wildcat holler and then they changed it to the banshees holler because they said that they heard a banshee back there one time and i'm like what exactly does a banshee sound like she and, had a scottish accent that's what I wanted to dress up Skylar for one year because she like would stop screaming and she just screamed all the time. And my mom wouldn't let me do it because she was like, Skylar wants to be a fairy. And I'm like, a banshee technically is a fairy. I looked it up. It is. And um, mom was like, no, a real one. I'm like, <laughs> that. Okay. But, yeah. They banshee. don't exist. And she meant like the the know, more the, the more popular one. version. But of anyway, the fairies, when yeah. you turn off your car in that tunnel, apparently it won't start. It's because the water is going to like keep your car from starting because it gets that deep in there. Yeah. And the other one is like you can hear... Well, if we go in there in my truck, it won't be a problem. Yeah. The other one, you can hear like a baby crying or whatever in it at night. And if you go out the other side, apparently it curses you. So I just won't do that because you know what? I don't know that I thought I, you wanted to die. I don't know that I... On my own damn terms, though. Not by some stupid tunnel curse. So if you find a banshee and then you give it a knife and you bring a, a knife, knife for yourself, technically that's on your terms, right? No, like I don't want someone to stab me or shoot me. I'll just, uh, like, I mean, you can shoot me if I can't see that you're about to shoot me. And you get me in the head. Um, but I don't want, like, the... <laughs> Jesus. I don't want, like, the anxiety leading up to it or, like, agonizing pain involved. Life I, is pain, Heather. Get used to it. I, I mean, honestly, you'd think I'd be used to it by now. Oh, God. But uh, that right. was a really edgy comment. I'm sorry oh, for gosh. that edge. Should I just no. cut you through the screen? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Let's 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 move on. So Red Dead uh, So uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 has kind of prompted Dunky to do a little bit of a video about Rockstar Games. And uh, let's get it on screen. And let's give it a watch, shall we? Oh, yeah, I know that. That's from, um... Is that from, uh, Vice City? It feels wrong to come down on Rockstar, which is one of few triple ah, I remember that, in, that intro. Quality title every time. But even the best games can be improved, and I think naturally, when you make a game on this scale, you tend to screw up some things. Uh, replayability is something they kind of neglect. The first time I beat Red Dead, I was like, alright, that was awesome. The second time through, though, I went... Oh yeah, you're just dicking around with horses and cows for the first hour of this game. The second time through Max Payne 3, you notice you can't skip the cutscenes. Grand Theft Auto 4, you realize that nearly half of that game is just driving to and from missions. All of this menial stuff that you weren't really paying attention to in your initial playthrough is launched to the forefront when you have to do it again. Even Grand Theft Auto 5, which takes huge strides in making its pacing more efficient, is still plagued by missions that are just straight up not fun. Remember this one where you have to drive to the tow truck place, get in the truck, tow Yeah, the those car, those missions were a little bit place. tedious. Probably not because it was so fucking boring that your brain tried to suppress it from your memory. I think there are some pretty <sighs> obvious ways to cut down on the more tedious aspects of these games. Like how about instead of having to drive to two different places to start a mission every time, what if you just drove to where the mission actually takes place? How about missions that go like this? <laughs> Yeah. What if you just delete those? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Have you ever gotten into a car with somebody and you both didn't immediately start babbling about nothing? Not in these games you didn't. Why? Why do these violent criminals transform into social butterflies the second they get in a car together? It hurts the whole experience because the quality of writing just drops off once you get in the car. You are a hipster. Rockstar? No. No. Bad. Michael does not know what a hipster is. I hate Hipsters. Trevor especially doesn't know what a hipster is, and yet here we are, two guys. Um, I take offense to that because Trevor actually, strange. actually, that's one of his uh, rampage missions. He kills a shit ton of hipsters. Start talking about something like literally, he goes and he kills a shit ton. Destination: the rain pierces my vessel like knives as thunder cracks through the air. I felt the water tremble beneath me when a foul beast emerged from the blackest depths of the sea. It was my uncle. Okay, see you later, Franklin. 
Now, we all know that every single game must have an open world, otherwise it isn't a real video game. But as <laughs> Rockstar's games become more and more scripted, they're starting to make less sense as open world games. GTA V's Los Santos is kind of bittersweet. On the surface, it is incredibly polished uh -huh. and detailed, but what's disappointing is that only a fraction of this massive map is utilized in meaningful ways, and there isn't much incentive for players to actually dig into it. The meager amount of collectibles there are have been seemingly dropped in at random, the stunt jumps are ruined by this lame-ass slow-mo camera, and there is a vast abundance of blank, empty areas with nothing going on. It feels more like a backdrop to the campaign rather than a world that was meant to be thoroughly explored. Now, to put this video in perspective, let me say these first three issues are pretty minor in the face of this one. Rockstar. <laughs> Fuck. Generally, when somebody wants to play an online game, they want to turn it on and get into a match within a minute. Overwatch, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, Hearthstone, all of these games are very quick to get you into the action. Then you have Grand Theft Auto. When this game first came out, it worked just like GTA 4 and Red Dead, in that you had to load into the single player for a minute and a half. Then you could select multiplayer and you had to load again. So it's already taken three minutes just to get online. But now you have to actually find a match. Here we go. Yeah. It's not great. Nope. Hey, you there? Nope. Shut up, Lamar. Hey, man, you there? Nope. <laughs> Hello, Fortnite. Hearthstone. Okay, so it's taken us eight minutes to get into a match, and it's a 42. <laughs> Rockstar. What the fuck? That was a really big point, though. Because even Destiny, I have started up to play a little bit of 30 minutes before work, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, an Overwatch and Destiny, any multiplayer game like that, that's the real appeal, is you can pick it up and just unwind for 30 minutes to an hour very quickly. Yeah. And that, yeah, you don't get that with GTA V. No. And that really does make games more fun, when you can pick them up and do them when you have a little bit of free time. Yeah. When you're busy. No, I agree. I agree 100%, because um, GTA... Um, they value more like parties like if you mm -hmm. have like parties of of people and you go into like random like and plus they're they have recommended uh they have recommended ones yeah but uh in order for you to set up one that was uh oh uh oh Oof. Oof. uh oh this night this might we might have an issue here i think you should end the video we should start over that way we don't have to do the end yeah. Uh, we can only have to do the end again. Okay, so up. if if the power <laughs> cuts out, you'll know what ha you'll know that this is the end right here. Okay, hold on. Risk. <laughs> okay, so this is fluff. If you're seeing this right now, the power did not go out, but given how it sounds outside, it sounds about like Oh shit. <laughs> wow. Mm. I like how it's not. It's still recording though, so they're gonna see the lights flicker too. Yeah. Uh, you all are seeing this, right? Uh, this is actually pretty friggin' scary. Not really, well, but I was like, why but, should I be scared? Okay. Yeah, because you know how I am. Well, yeah. Don't give me a reason to be scared. If you're scared, I'm, I'm not scared. Attacking. I'm just joking. Come on. I know, but I'm just saying for future reference. If anything ever scares Nate or Micah, I'm having a full blown panic attack in the floor, like. <laughs> Because that, uh, then I'm fucked. Nah, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Everything's fine. Not afraid of anything. People Everything's keep asking fine. me what I'm going to do when the apocalypse comes, and I'm like, I'm going to Micah's house. <laughs> yeah, no, you're no, not. They, <laughs> no, they keep asking me where I'm going to go if there's a purge, and I keep saying Micah's house, because you're the only person that's going to keep us safe. You're going to roll up to an empty house. That's all I'm saying. You're going to purge? Your, uh, okay, where is your, like, oh, no, that's, bug out place? That's not up to me. What? Who's it up to? Well, I, the, the person that has it, they're not as 
kind as I am. So people aren't just going to roll up there. You're they're wow, going to start Mike shooting at people. Yeah. What about you? Up. What about you? Is he going to let you in? Oh yeah, I'm I'm on the squad, man. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Mike is leaving us to die. Just saying, you better get there early. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not sure what the people. hell's going on, but like the lights just keep dimming down and coming back, dimming like, down honestly, and coming back. How are you supposed to defend like a podunk one story house on a major highway anyhow? Like that's ridiculous. You can't really. Yeah, so why I mean, would you come to my house? So why would uh, so why would this uh That's not gonna <laughs> that's not good do anything. He- Heather, like, you can have all the guns in the world, but if you don't know how to use them, good freaking luck. Well does it better I'm going with my gun. If you're uh, well, if you're guess in a guess what? Mike is not gonna be in your immediate vicinity. If you're sticking if, with you. If you're in a one story house on a major highway like i mean yeah that's not gonna do you what about what about here would here pieces. be a more defendable uh there's too many doors i mean the house itself will be hard to cover yeah. i mean well yeah I mean, there are a lot of access points i mean you're in a cul-de-sac a though purse, so i assume we're buying like a bunch of security shit though well so... yeah if i if i am going to do anything i'm going to probably like board up or like secure like seal off the windows i'll probably seal off the entire downstairs because as, downstairs to me is like a big risk as nice as this neighborhood is if there was a purge i can guarantee you the two houses on this the beginning of the cul-de-sac would have like a gate put up probably at the road yeah. so they'd have to like hike in yeah and and plus i well we could probably do a big ass gate around the whole area uh, whatever well, we need to do to the windows so they can't be broken into because there's a lot of windows. All the doors need to be barricaded off. Well, We're honestly, have this have... is not my dream house, guys. Sorry, there's a gnat down here. I heard... <laughs> he was just ending the video right there. And I no, was there's like, a gnat. Okay. I was like, it, it's been annoying me since I saw it, and it's just like, I hate gnat season. Okay. So, anyway, um, this is not my dream scenario when it comes to, like, like a a house for a purge for a purge or anything like that if anything i'd probably i'd probably head to i'd probably head i don't know man i'd probably head to zach because zach's got a a doomsday scenario he actually he actually know because here's one thing that the state does in times of emergency they will empty out the prison and pretty much leave it barren and the prison in which Zach used to work, Red Onion, is a level 5 Supermax. And there are all sorts of gates, all sorts of gigantic chain link fences, reinforced uh, reinforced concrete uh, so buildings and everything. It's a proven concept. Measures to keep people in also work well at keeping Keep people out. out. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, are they really going to let us just walk in there? Hey, I know we're purging right now, but Zach, we can just stay here. Zach, yeah. Zach knows a lot of the people up there. What if they turn on Zach? What if they're like, you took my sandwich on lunch one day? He never did, though. Zach always brought his own lunches. Okay. Trust me, family works there. Okay. Members of Zach's family work there. I don't like that sound. Thunder? No, it's been moving more chairs, man. Come on. <laughs> my mom used to say it was God bowling. My mom used to say it was God moving his furniture. <laughs> Time the, to rearrange. And then also, and also, uh, the the water coming down was God leaving his uh, his bathtub on and it ran over. I hadn't heard that one. Yeah, that's cute. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought I thought it was I thought it was cool, and also from Angels in the Outfield they had that that silly kid who was just like looking at the moon, the crescent moon. You know, it looks it looks really. Cool. He's like, hey, look, it's God's thumbnail. I was like. You know, kid, I'll give it to you. That's good. But I hope you get bullied when you get when you grow up. <laughs> wow. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I love that kid. That's really funny. Uh, but yeah, I, I've, I, like, honestly, I've got my scenarios down, and plus I've got a pretty good four wheel drive truck, so I can go. I can get to some pretty good places. Like I know Ben doesn't really shoot, but I also feel like Ben would fucking like nail it like i think he could he, really he actually it. didn't do that bad when we handed him zach's handgun when we gave him zach's 40 uh uh 40 caliber he actually shot it pretty good oh. so i'm ben, sure he could really hold his own though well if i'm going to well if i'm going to okay there's two places i am guaranteed to go 
before I head out and go anywhere. Number one, my mom's. Number two, my dad's. Because my mom, I, I, she's the closest. And also, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'm going to check and see if she's okay and if she's... If she is okay. So we have to just bring all the cats? I, I, mm, I don't know. That's a hard decision. My it? mom, my mom would probably opt to stay with the cats. Whereas my dad. Well, her house would actually not be bad to go to because it's all the way, like, all the way at the back of the area. Well, it's actually, if you go through the foot, the woods right behind her house, it's I-81 right there. So oh. it's, now there's, wood. now the woods are. Uh, the woods aren't difficult to navigate, but I think seeing the woods would put people off from going in there because, you know. Oh, uh, sure. And well, plus she would and plus the like... only, like, big gaping hole that is in her, like, like is the basement door, which you can pile all the shit that they got down there in front of Like, you can put Blake's motorcycle in oh, front yeah. of it, the lawnmower. Her you house put... would be better for a perch. It would be. My dad, on the other hand, my dad's already got his plan. My dad, like, my dad's already prepped and everything. He's... It surprised me how many guns he had. Like I knew he had his thirty out six, and I knew he had a little thirty eight, a little thirty eight pistol. When he showed me the assault rifle, he bought, he bought an AR fifteen, and he had it customized, and had a like a laser sight and a flashlight, and a, and like a a really nice uh, stock on it, and also a good grip. I was like, holy crap, pop! He's like, I'm prepared, son. I'm prepared. And he also has a uh, twenty. He also has a uh, twenty two long rifle assault rifle. It's a it's a twenty two it's a assault rifle that fires twenty two, and like 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 a little like one of those little Ruger fourteens or something. It's I like, guess I, mean, I guess because it because it, there are he, plenty there are plenty of twenty two rifles with like a thirty round magazine. I mean, that, all right, that's gonna do it, everybody. Until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Heather. Micah, and we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out. Uh-huh.